and welcome back to the Cloverly Farm Kitchen. Today we're going to make red clover muffins. This is red clover from the field. Probably everybody knows what red clover is. Red clover is loaded with lots of vitamins and minerals and trace elements. And this is what it looks like after it's dry. And we're going to be putting the dry into the blender. Just a few handfuls at a time, or else the blender won't be able to handle it. Make sure to put the lid on and put it on the highest setting. We're all done blending, and this is what it's going to look like. It's kind of greenish color. And what I'm going to do now is put it through a sifter. Get out all the large particles that wouldn't get chopped up. And what you're left with is a fine red clover flower. And this is what's going to be put into our red clover mini muffins. Okay, we're done sifting and this is what's left over. The flower is just a little bit bigger. Now you could use this if you wanted to. It adds a little bit more texture. But we're going to go with just the fine flour. Okay, these are the ingredients for the red clover muffins. One quarter cup of the red clover flour, one egg, three quarter cups rice flour, three tablespoons sugar, two tablespoons baking soda, and then a half a teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of vegetable oil. This is going to be the one half cup of red clover infusion. We will drain that before we use it in the muffins. Okay, now we're going to strain the infusion. Put it into a measuring cup to make it a little easier. Just pour it right over to a one half a cup. And this is the infusion that you'll use for the red clover muffins. Okay, I've got all the ingredients in the pan and I've been stirring it to get it all the egg in, sugar. And this is what the batter looks like when done. Soft, moist, a little sticky. And then I'm going to use my mini muffin pan and make red clover mini muffins. You have to grease the muffin tin, and with this particular one, the easiest way I found is to wet with oil a little end of the paper towel. And just go like this. It's quick, it's easy, it just needs a little tiny bit of grease. Or if you want, you can use the mini muffin little cups, the paper cups. And I use a scoop. So they all come out pretty even, and scoop it in there. And when you're done, you're going to put it in the oven on 400 degrees. The mini muffins take about five to seven minutes. If you're making a larger muffin, you're going to cook them for 10 to 12 minutes. It's going to de depend on your oven temperature. My oven tends to run a little hot, so things cook quite a bit faster. Okay. 
Okay, and off they go into the oven. Okay, they're out of the oven and cooled. And now I'm going to sprinkle a little tiny confectioner's sugar on them. Okay, you can also frost them. Cream cheese frosting is really good on them. Or just white frosting. And there you have it. Red Clover gluten-free mini muffins.